and still on health stories, Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives has warned members of the public to disease from assaulting their members while carrying out their constitutional duties. The association stated this through its state chairman, Ishakuya Kubo, during the Quadrennial State Delegate Conference at Ariwa House in Kaduna. According to Yakubo, the association is ready to defend its members against any form of assault while calling on government to help provide adequate security for nurses. Also speaking, the National Treasurer of the association, Comrade Mercy Leraba Nenka, appealed to government to pay all benefits to its nurses, which will help end traveling abroad for greener pastures. Jumai Bako, the permanent secretary office of head of service, who represented the Kaduna State Government, assured the nurses of government's readiness to ensure good working environment for all its workers. We want government to provide perimeter fences in those facilities and provide security personnel that will man the gates and secure those facilities. So these are some of the challenges that we have out of many. Uh, nurse, I think Nurse Teresa from General Hospital Sabon Tesha. Yes, she has been with kidnappers for about three weeks now. And initially I learned they were demanding for 70 million. Uh, but we don't know how much the negotiation has gone down to. But we are pleading on the government to assist uh, to rescue her from the hands of her kidnappers. I would want to let you know that at the association level, all hands are on deck, engaging the government at various levels to see that they improve our welfare. And then uh, those who are remaining and are still working should be encouraged too by, you know, addressing their issues appropriately. You know, no one stays where he's not happy and he's not encouraged or motivated. Praise for the remaining 23% of the remuneration, which the government is on top of the issue. They came to the office of the head of service where we held a meeting with them. And we told them that we have written a letter to His Excellency to that effect. So by the end of this month, we are expecting the feedback from Government House. 